How's everyone doing? Today I have an awesome horror mail day with Blu-rays, DVDs, Funko Pops, posters, vinyl records, and a bunch of the stuff is signed as well. So this is just awesome. I am souped. Uh, and as always, let me know if you've seen any of the movies and what you think of all the goodies in here. And let me know what your favorite item is from what I'm about to show you. Uh, first up, I got a Blu-ray right here, Night of the Scarecrow. Not to be confused with Dark Knight of the Scarecrow, which is a made-for-TV movie that I think is personally overrated. Everybody, hype, everybody hypes that one up as the best made-for-TV horror movie ever, and I completely disagree. I'd put Bad Ronald over there. I'd put, uh, was it Michael? Was that the one? There's a whole bunch of other ones I would put above that. Uh, it's decent, but not great, in my opinion. Uh, this one, to me, it's been so long since I've seen this one, but I remember loving the heck out of this one. Um, there's like a small town and uh, they have this scarecrow that comes back and starts killing people and it's directed by uh, Jeff Burr who did uh, Stepfather 2 and Offspring. It has uh, John Hawks from Winter's Bone in here. But uh, yeah, good scarecrow horror movie and it's been a long time since I've seen it but I remember loving this one growing up. Excited to pick this up. This is another one that you don't really see too often as well. It's from Olive Films. But yeah, love this one. I'm so excited to revisit that one. Next up, this is actually a funny story. This is a, a Two Evil Eyes DVD signed up by uh, George A. Romero and Adrian Barbeau. And I got this from another collector who sent me the pictures of the signing, which I think is awesome to do. So you actually see them signing right there, which I just love that. You know, the gives a little bit more authenticity. And this was one of those ones from, Inc or no, sorry, Blue Underground that was like a limited edition. I can't remember what it was limited to, but this is number 342. Um, but yeah, this is a classic Edgar Allan Poe uh, adaptation, two stories right here from uh, George A. Romero, then Dario Argento, a bunch of bonus features in here. And the funny story was I bought this off of eBay from this collector and uh, turns out he messaged me on Facebook. I had sold him something previously on a Facebook horror group. So that was pretty awesome. And I ended up getting this for a good deal in my opinion. Very souped on this one. I don't know if this, uh, it's hard to, I can't see on here because it's a digital camera and there's no, uh, you know, second little part right there giving me the image. So I'm not sure the glare will pick up the signature. It's in silver Sharpie. Really nice, bright, vivid signature stands out and love that classic right there. George A. Romero, essentially uh, the godfather of the dead and zombies. And then Adrian Barbeau, who is stunning. Uh, next up, I will show you this Funko Pop which I got from uh, another, this person isn't really necessarily a collector. I think they solely go out to uh, get people's signatures to, just to resell. Uh, but they also provided pictures of the, the signing events. Sometimes they have, they'll basically um, have somebody there for a private signing and they'll sign like a thousand of these, or I don't know, you know, a couple hundred of these within a couple hours or something like that. So I think that's kind of neat too. But here we go, it's uh, Robert England signed right there on the brim. And then, um, or on the top rather, then on the brim you've got Freddy. So that is pretty cool. That is awesome. I have a few signed Funko Pops. So I might do a video showing my signed horror Funko Pop collection, if you will. I don't have a ton of Funko Pops. Um, they, they make Funko Pops for like everything. And I'm not a big fan of all the stuff that they have. I know a lot of people are huge Funko Pop fans, but I do like some of their ones. So next up, I will show you some vinyl. And um, this I actually got with a poster as well. I sent in the poster. Uh, there's a store in California, Dark Delicacies. They do a lot of in-store signings. And sometimes if you send something to them with enough advance notice, they can do, uh, you know, get it signed for you. You pay the shipping. And sometimes uh, you'll, you'll have to pay the autograph fee too if there is one. Um, sometimes there's not. So I was able to get the poster signed essentially for free as long as I bought the vinyl record. And I wanted the vinyl record anyways. This is a uh, record day, a record store day exclusive limited to a thousand on blood red vinyl soundtrack for 30 days of night, which is one of my all time favorite horror movies. So I'm going to go ahead and show you this, take it out of the wrapping. But again, I love 30 days of night. I love movies with a snowy setting. There needs to be more horror movies, with the snowy setting. I want to see uh, Friday the 13th with a, a snowy setting, but yeah, the blood pops in the white snow. I love Ben Foster's character, the dark look to the vampires, you know, that kind of archaic one, and the concept of the 30 days of night in Alaska. I know there's a Tales from the Crypt episode, I think season six, but it really wasn't uh, utilized in film. There's also Frostbitten too, which is another one, another uh, kind of vampire movie dealing with that. 
but there you go. There's the signatures are signed up by um, Brian Ritzel, the composer, David Slay, the director, Stephen Niles, the writer, and then Megan Franich, who played Iris. And uh, she drew a little picture there. I don't really love when they do pictures. I know Clue Gallagher used to do like, uh, pictures on a lot of his signatures. Uh, and sometimes it's, it's big and ugly, and I'm not a big fan of that little drawing myself. But nice gatefold cover right there. And I will go ahead and um, show you the blood red vinyl. Don't wanna, really want to touch the grooves. So I can see if I can just slide it out a little bit. There we go, right there. Beautiful blood red vinyl. And I think this is a, uh, this is a two disc one. Yes, it is. It is a two disc edition as well. So you get the, the other one right there. So very nice, very happy to get this signed up. And the fact that I was able to get the posters, which I'll show you after I show you a couple other uh, vinyl records. Next up was Waxworks release for Black Christmas. I think this was like the first time this was released uh, as far as the soundtrack. So that is pretty cool. Another gatefold cover right there. And love the artwork, love this movie too. I remember watching this as a kid and the end scene always creeped me out. And I do like the remake, although I think the remake went a little over the top with uh, the ending once they get to the hospital. And this one has a really cool, I love when Waxwork, they do a lot of unique, like kind of a disc art, artwork and stuff. This one right here was like kind of like the phone aspect with like a blood splatter. So that is pretty cool. And then there's the other side. So very nice, right there. And then next up is John Carpenter's Lost Themes Remixed. And this is a limited edition one as well. Um, I, it's a blue vinyl, I believe, blue marbled vinyl. And I love uh, what John Carpenter's doing, his Lost Themes, uh, especially Vortex. That was probably my favorite on here, amazing. Sacred Bones Records is the one that released this. And yeah, this was, uh, I can't remember what this was limited to, but they call this a, I believe, a marbled blue. Try not to touch the, the grooves too much right there. There we go. But beautiful, kind of like a translucent blue, really. I am kind of mixed excited for the new Halloween movie with um, uh, the guy, for, uh, the director of Pineapple Express and then the guy from uh, Eastbound and Down, uh, Danny McBride. Uh, it's, I don't know too much of their background as far as horror-wise, but as long as John Carpenter, as long as he stays on board to kind of give them direction, Gives me something to look forward to. Uh, next up, I sent them a poster for um, 30 Days of Night because it's one of my all-time favorite movies. And then they, it was a big thing on the phone. I was like, well, do you, you sure you want this poster? You don't want the theatrical poster? And I never really loved the look to the theatrical poster. I'll show you in a minute. So I sent them a slightly uh, different one. I sent this one right here, which is for like uh, the Blu-ray release. Uh, so this is going to be difficult to show. I don't know if I can properly show this or not. Uh, but if, if you could see right there, you have the cast members, uh, Melissa George and Josh Hartnett. And then you can see some of the signatures down here. Right there. And I guess, I don't know if for whatever reason they thought uh, the theatrical poster was better. So they threw in the theatrical poster signed up as well. And I'll go ahead and show you that. I don't, they were kind of a little bit weird about that one. Like, you sure you don't want the theatrical poster? You, you know, they, they kept asking me over and over. I'm like, if you have it, sure. Like, they basically said that they would throw it in. It's glossier, this um, the theatrical poster, which is nice. But I just never liked the look. Just the vampire, like, screaming. I mean, this is so difficult to show posters like this that aren't framed. But just the, the vampire with the, with the blood red background screaming. I just never thought it was anything special. Uh, the only thing I don't like about the other one is that it says Blu-ray down there at the bottom. But yeah, this one's all signed up and stuff too. Difficult to show, but... So that was really nice that they sent two of the posters signed up, essentially for free. Um, and they also sent a third poster, which isn't signed, but it was the poster for Sinister which I wasn't a big fan of this movie right there. I guess they just sent an extra one for the heck of it. Uh, so I definitely appreciate that. I essentially got all that for free and then I just paid for the vinyl record and then the shipping. 
So, souped on that. Uh, Sinister, for me, had a big tonal shift halfway through the movie. And in the second half, they really relied more on jump scares. And I didn't like the way that it was the kids. And they kind of stopped dealing with the demon aspect. And Sinister 2 was just hot garbage. I love Shannon Sossaman. But, ugh, just garbage of a movie. But there you go. Those were my uh, horror picks. Oh, you know what? They actually sent me one more thing for free, too. A uh, mouse pad for 30 Days of Night. Which is cool. I might actually use this, in fact. <laughs> Because my old mouse pad has got a couple little breaks in it. But there you go. Those are my horror pickups. Signed DVDs, Blu-rays, signed Funko Pops, signed posters, signed vinyl records. Let me know what you think of these. Have you seen the movies? And what was your favorite pickup from this lot as well? Leave me a comment or video response down below. Hope everyone's doing well. Take care.